So that's what would happen if there's kind of no government involvement. We'd have these exports if, if the world price was above the autarky price for Canada, and we'd have these imports or a certain amount of these imports if the world price was below um, this uh, autarky price for Canada. Well, governments sometimes might want to get involved and kind of alter these trade patterns or kind of affect the amount we're exporting or, or importing. And so sometimes they want to protect their own industries. So protectionism. And so what protectionism, protectionism is, is any policy um, that's designed to protect domestic producers or the domestic market. Any policy designed to protect um, domestic industries from foreign competition. So for example, in the, in the examples that we're going to concentrate in this module, examples would be tariffs and quotas, or voluntary export restrictions. Um, maybe I should say and, just so you don't, just so we're not under the impression these are the same thing. BERs. All right, so these are the two kind of policies in terms of protectionist policies that we're going to discuss in the context of this, um, these trade patterns and how these policies are going to affect um, the domestic markets. So the first kind of protectionist policy we're going to examine is tariffs. And so what a tariff is, is like a tax that any importer of the good needs to pay. So if a good that is, is subject to a tariff enters Canada, they're going to be charged a certain amount of money, this certain amount of tax, uh, for it to enter the country. So a tax paid um, when the product is, in, is imported. So let's think about how this tax, um, this tariff, is going to affect the market. And so let's give an example. Uh, tariff, if the tariff equals, let's say, capital T dollars. So that's what we're going to think about. All right. So let's draw our axis, the price and the quantity. Here's the domestic supply curve, the domestic demand curve. This would be the autarky price and quantity. And so here, let's say the world's price, I mean, if Canada's importing it, for instance, the world price is going to be below this autarky price. So this is PW. And before this tariff, this is Q1, this is Q2, just like before. So without, um, without the tariff, this is, what, this is how much uh, the Canadian producers are going to produce. This is how much Canadian consumers demand. And the difference is the amount of imports before this tariff. But then let's say the Canadian government decides to slap this tariff of T dollars. Well, that's going to raise the, the price. And now the price in Canada is going to be this world price plus this T dollars. So the difference between these two lines is going to be this, this tariff of size T dollars. Well, after they put this tariff on, the amount of imports is going to fall. Oh, we'll say three and four. And so now this is the amount of imports after the tariff.
So we can see that the amount of imports used to be this much, so this distance, Q2 minus Q1. But now after this tax raised the price in Canada, the amount of imports is going to go down, right? Canadian producers are going to produce a bit more from this because the price went up. Well, Canadian consumers are going to demand a bit less of this good because the price went up. All right, so now let's think of the welfare implications of this. So maybe we should write that down. So imports fall after the tariff. Canadian producers increase their production from Q1 to Q3. And Canadian consumers decrease consumption. It goes down from Q2 to Q4. So now let's think of the welfare. So remember, welfare has to do with total surplus. Let's think of the welfare. Um, implications of this. So I'm just going to number a few different areas. So one, two, let's label this whole area three, and then four for this other triangle. All right, so what's happening when the price goes up from this PW to T dollars plus PW is that um, producer surplus for Canadian firms is gonna go up by this area one, right? Remember below the price above the, um, below the price above the supply curve is gonna be the producer surplus. Well, it used to be this little triangle before and then with the added tariff and the price went up, all of a sudden it's this larger triangle. So the difference is that one. So domestic producer surplus increases by one. So that's, what's, that's what the area one is going to be. Now let's think about the consumer side of it. Remember, everything below the demand curve above the price is the... Um, is the consumer surplus. So it used to be kind of this big triangle with this bottom boundary being this pink line below the demand curve, above the price, above PW. But now with the price going up, it's a smaller triangle, right? It's this big triangle that's now bounded by this new price under the tariff. So consumer surplus went down by these four areas. So domestic consumer surplus was down by one plus two plus three plus four. And there's one more thing happening because the government's charging this T dollars, the government's collecting this tariff. And so government collects this T dollars on every um, on every import that's brought in, and now the imports is Q four minus Q three. So this is the amount of imports, and that's the tax. Well, that corresponds to this area that we've labeled three here, this rectangle here. That's like the government imports. Uh, sorry, that government revenue from this tariff. So that's area three. All right, so we're gonna imagine that this government tariff uh, revenue is used towards um, productive things. And so in total, we have a total surplus falling by one, two, three, and four. And we're having these two other effects that are raising parts of total surplus, one and three. And so the difference is this areas two and four are the deadweight loss. This is the reduction in total surplus from putting this tariff on. So these two areas here 
are the dead weight loss from putting on this tariff. But it's important to understand why those two areas correspond with the dead weight loss. It's because consumer surplus is going down by these four areas, producer surplus is going up by one, and the government's collecting these new revenues in terms of three. One plus three minus one plus two plus three plus four is going to be these last two areas, areas two and area four. So that's the dead weight loss. And so this is why economists wouldn't like these tariffs. It's because we think they're reducing um, the efficiency of the market. You know, we'll, we'll see in the slides and things like that that there might be, there are some reasonable reasons why you might want to put uh, protectionist policies in place. But in general, we're going to say that these tariffs are simply making consumers in the importing country better off, uh, uh, worse off, I should say. They're making it worse off for consumers, even though we're collecting a little bit of revenues and, and our domestic production is doing a bit better. In total, that's having a negative effect on the efficiency of our market.